Have you ever been thrown into a new role and vaguely asked for something with no requirements at all? Maybe uh, we want a report for some process that nobody understands, or an analysis of data when nobody knows where that data even exists. Maybe you're tasked with building out a data warehouse with no understanding of what data is even available. You might be able to scramble together some requirements to give them what they want. The problem is most people don't see the potential of their data, so you really want to dig in and get good requirements to give them what they need. The biggest mistake in requirement gathering is the urge to just go and collect a big list of them. It's not about a giant shopping list of metrics, data points, or report fields. You really need to understand the users, the business, and both their needs. To be clear, this doesn't mean you know how to do their job better than they do. The users are the experts in their domain. It's about your ability to bring a new perspective, one focused on the potential of the data available. It's best when you can partner closely with a user to merge their domain expertise with your data expertise. Most of this will be from the perspective of an analyst working with business lines, but I've used essentially the same approach as an engineer working closely with a data scientist to define project requirements. We're going to keep things broad so it applies to a multitude of data requirements. The first step in our process is going to be stakeholder interviews. This sounds very formal, and it could be with a series of conference room interviews with questions and answer sessions. It could also be closely working with a single representative over a period of time. Or if there's not much enthusiasm for change, it could be getting involved in helping them with their processes so you can learn them. They might be overwhelmed with work, and helping them out with dealing with some of the spreadsheets or analysis will give you a ton of insight into improvement areas, and also win over some favor. There's a few different levels you want to gather information for requirements from. Starting with the users or customers of your data output, you need to understand the following. How well do they understand their data and their domain? For example, if you're building stock market investment reports, a day trader audience would have a very different focus and style than if the audience is the average family. What are some industry standards? Often there are standards for common calculations and metrics. Knowing these can save you some time and confusion when your approach differs from the standard. Is the audience about insights or raw data? If your users are data analysts, they might want a more broad, curated data set. If your users are executives, they might want just a trend line showing good or bad. What is the level of data trust? If the users don't trust the sources, they're going to struggle to trust your product if it's built on those sources. There might be much more engineering groundwork to prepare the data if that's the case. We also want to understand how analytics gets consumed. How often do people use objects? Wanting data for the quarterly board meeting versus a dashboard for daily use. I was once on a team that built some really cool Power BI dashboards that we were then asked to turn into paginated views that could be printed and handed out at meetings. You want to know how information is currently consumed. The other common joke is, cool dashboard, can I have it in Excel? If that's the case, what is the plan to transition to a more day-to-day, -day shared dashboard approach to data consumption? Next, we want to know how data can impact insights. What are some current processes influenced by data? And what are some decision areas that are made with no data to back them? What metrics currently exist? What kind of decisions are made day to day, often that nobody even realizes? Are there any never-ending disputes between teams or departments that could be alleviated with data? What is the plan to turn insight into action? Sometimes people think that just having analytics will solve everything. Make sure there's a plan to do something with them. Finally, we need to learn about our data. What are our sources and what is the access point for each of them? APIs, direct database access, Excel files, what is the expected effort to cleanse the data in each of these? What data sources can be combined for insight that wouldn't be available any other way? What kind of latency are we looking to have for data to be updated, cleaned, and distributed? What is the ideal timing for our analytics? Current dashboard metrics, trend over recent time, lengthy historical analysis, all of these are going to impact your analytics design. Now that we're armed with our stakeholder information, we can start working on some requirements. To be clear, requirement writing can be a very complex process that can involve teams of skilled technical writers. We're approaching this as a small team or single data person who needs to come up with requirements without access to experienced technical writer teams. We want to list out what analytics resources currently exist, which of those need to be kept, which are thrown away, and which can be upgraded. Then based on our research, what is the goal state? 
what sources, pipelines, data stores, and analytical objects need to exist for that goal state. You can draw this out with a current state to future state, what's staying, what's going, what's being converted into something else. At some point, I'll need to do a video on various architecture diagrams that would be helpful here. Be sure to like this video if you want to see something like that. Then we want to decide if we're going to be converting the current state of things to our end goal, which would be identifying gaps and a plan to address them, or if we want to do a fresh analytics build and the plan to do that. It's the difference between a piece by piece upgrade approach or a ground up approach. This will depend on the stakeholder needs that you've learned. And the last important object to help with your requirements is data mapping. What essential data is in each source? How does that map to the current solution? How will that map to the new solution? What level of cleanup needs to be done? If you're doing something like source to data lake, to data warehouse, to merge data sets between sources, to analytics tools, mapping the lineage of data from each source to the end product is nice to have. Making this video made me realize how complicated requirements and solution planning is. I need to do more on this topic, but one thing you need to think about is what data store will be the foundation for your analytics. And to get you started with that, you'll wanna watch this video next so you know what options are available.